before we discuss about the modes of nutrition in detail first you should be knowing about one main thing and that is the cell now cell is the building blocks of living organism or living organism whether it is plant whether it is animal or whether it is human being like bricks make the building same way cells make a living organism now each cell is not same means they will not have the same shape same size it varies so according to the function they do their shape may vary their size their number may vary so that all you will be learning about in detail in your 8th class but till then you should be knowing some basic things about cell one thing is this outer boundary you must be seeing there are two boundaries here one inside the inner boundary of the cell is called as cell membrane this is the inner boundary in all the cells these are four cells here so the inner boundary of these cells is called as cell membrane then this rounded structure dark rounded structure in each that is called as nucleus the dark rounded structure in each of the cell is called as nucleus and the substance which is surrounding the nucleus and present inside the cell membrane the substance which is between the nucleus and the cell membrane is called as cytoplasm this cytoplasm is basically a jelly like substance and it will hold the nucleus in its position and there are other things also present in this that you will be learning in detail in your high classes now here in this class you need not to learn about the second boundary but when you are drawing this then you must be drawing this second boundary also this second boundary is called as cell wall and this boundary is present only in plants if you must be drawing the diagram of an animal cell then you need not to draw this outer boundary then you will be drawing only the inner boundary means cell membrane will be every time present it protects each cell from the outer surroundings then nucleus will be present in all the cells then cytoplasm will be present in all the cells but cell wall will be present only in the plant cells it will not be found in the animal cells in this chapter the diagram given in your chapter is of plant cell that is why it is showing the double boundary so the outer boundary is of the cell wall so this you need to learn more in detail because until you are not knowing what is the base of a living organism you will not be able to understand what is further happening so practice this diagram and understand it properly let us read about the autotrophic mode of nutrition in detail and for this we need to know about a process which is called as photosynthesis this is the most important process on our planet earth now photo means light and synthesis means to produce so basically it is a process where light is required to produce food item or to produce something which is later used as food by the organisms now this process occurs in the leaves of plants and also called as food factories because of their ability to produce food for the whole plant now food is prepared in the leaves and then it is being transported to all parts of the plant wherever it is required leaves are also sometimes referred as kitchen of the plant because these prepare food for the whole plant and supply it to all parts of the plant now what is this process photosynthesis actually there are certain conditions required for the process of photosynthesis which are essential conditions and in the presence of those conditions only the process of photosynthesis will occur so i'll let you know about those conditions 
and keep in mind those conditions because this topic of photosynthesis once you have learned now it will be forever in your mind and it is a very important topic photosynthesis till your 10th class when you will be reading about other things then you will be learning about photo photosynthesis also in, in detail essential conditions which are required for the process of photosynthesis one thing is you must be having carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas which is released by the plants as well as animals human being everybody so this is the main thing then we need to have water we need to have sunlight this process of photosynthesis always occurs in the presence of sunlight only means during the day hours after the sun has set then there will be no process of photosynthesis occurring it will not continue at all and it will again begin the next day when sun rises so after this we need another thing that is very important that is chlorophyll chlorophyll is a pigment pigment is something or the substance which gives color so here chlorophyll it is a pigment green in color so this is because of this chlorophyll the leaves we see on the trees or on the plants that have green color now this is one of the important uh, aspects required for the process of photosynthesis we have carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll these all are required for carrying out the process of photosynthesis so how this process of photosynthesis occurs this is the process of photosynthesis now with the help of this diagram you can understand it better here is a plant and the roots of the plants are inside the soil so in the leaf of the plant there is chlorophyll present and in the atmosphere we have carbon dioxide gas and sun is giving light energy to the plant and the roots of the plants will take water and minerals from the soil now in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in the leaf carbon dioxide will react with water and it will lead to the formation of carbohydrate and oxygen now this is the reaction here we need here sunlight i will be writing in detail also and chlorophyll both the things should be written on arrows okay so this is the process which occurs this is carbon dioxide this is water then we have carbohydrate and oxygen during the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide from the atmosphere water from the soil and minerals also these are being taken up by the plants and in the leaf in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight this carbon dioxide gas is converted into carbon uh, this carbohydrate and oxygen now oxygen gas is released in the atmosphere and is later used by all the living organisms for their breathing like human beings also animals also and carbohydrate is stored in the leaves of the plant from there this carbohydrate is being sent to all other parts of the plant and those part of the plants will utilize it as energy now this reaction i will write uh, in detail so that you will understand it better and you must be learning this reaction and understanding why this chlorophyll and sunlight are important and how carbohydrate is being formed if you are supposed to write the equation like if question comes then you have to write the photosynthesis equation then you need to write this equation this equation i am writing carbon dioxide then we need water here we have to take chlorophyll 
then sunlight and it will lead to the formation of carbohydrate plus oxygen. Okay, this is the complete equation. You can write it in both the ways. You can write it like this also. Whether you are writing sunlight on the top or chlorophyll at the bottom, it hardly matters. Both should come on the arrows. Okay, and this is the carbohydrate. Plus oxygen. So this is the equation in both the ways. Like now it will be easy for you to write. This is the equation in both the ways. So that you can easily write that car carbohydrate is stored in the leaves of the plant. And oxygen is released in the atmosphere which is used by all living organisms. Now this re reaction like carbohydrate now. You must be thinking what carbohydrate is formed here. The main form of carbohydrate which is formed, this is the simplest carbohydrate form that is glucose. But this is later stored in the form of starch. It is given in your book also. The stored form of carbohydrate in the leaves is starch. And we do the starch test only for finding out whether the process of photosynthesis was actually occurring in that particular plant or not. When it is formed, it is glucose. When it is stored, it becomes starch. So that starch test with iodine is being done to detect the presence of whether, carbo, whether photosynthesis process was happening or no. So now it is clear to you what is the process of photosynthesis and how it occurs in the leaves of the plant where chlorophyll is present.